Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Queenstown. I've checked into my hostel. This is the Adventure Queenstown Hostel. I have the room to myself this morning because my other bunk mates have checked out this morning, so we'll see if I get some new roomies. I'm hoping that I get some new roomies because I'm here solo and I want to meet people. But this is a small hostel, so I'm sure that I'll be able to meet someone just hanging around the common areas. Today is a little bit overcast, but you can still see the beautiful mountains. I just feel so happy to be here in beautiful beautiful Queenstown. It's always a treat coming down here and it's always a good time. So I'll take you around town today. Probably gonna go for a little walk around the lake. Maybe get up to a few activities. Probably do some window shopping. Oh yeah, get some breakfast to start my day. I'll take you guys along with me. So let's get out there and enjoy Queenstown day one. Just before I leave, I wanted to give a quick room tour. That's me on the top bunk. Yes, Toronto Maple Leafs. We have roomies that have checked out. I'm borrowing one of their outlets to charge my phone. So just a four bed dorm. We also have a beautiful mountain view here. Don't mind my water bottle. It's a pretty spacious dorm as well. And we also have an ensuite, which is pretty handy. So you don't have to use the shared toilets. You could still use them, but you have your own bathroom in any case. And that's the room for the next three nights or maybe longer. walked to the waterfront and I booked a ticket on a scenic boat cruise just real spontaneous but I love being out on the water so yeah I get to go cruise on the lake which is behind me I needed to get something to eat because it's like an hour and a half and I haven't eaten anything yet it's gonna be about 11 when we leave so I'm getting a kung fu pancake there was this guy <laughs> on the street selling street food and I needed something quick because I got to board the boat in like 10 minutes so I'm gonna try a kung fu pancake for the first time <laughs> when in Queenstown <laughs> got off the boat guys and I have to say that was such a cool experience. I've actually done that boat trip three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. The first time I've ever come to New Zealand was 2018 and I did that million dollar cruise and it was the same boat operator. It was Wayne. I remember him because he was so hilarious and this guy was cracking me up because every time he'd say, oh, here's a photo opportunity, he would commentate. Every time he took a photo, he's like, yeah, great, nice. Now look this way. 
now stand here and he would he was like directing people it was just perfect if I was a tour operator I would totally do the same thing but something that I wanted to touch on is that he talked a bit about COVID-19 and what's happened since the pandemic his opinion was not one that I've heard and also it differ it differentiates from mainstream media and the stories that they talk about for Queenstown he was saying from a community perspective the people here who live in Queenstown are really happy with the pandemic and how much it's calmed down the over tourism apparently there were like 3.5 million international kind of guests coming into the Queenstown area during the height of the over tourism and nothing was being done by local governments to try and support infrastructure to support that many people coming to visit this small town. So now that COVID has just cut off access to all international guests, the community is quite happy. They're quite pleased. They like it. They said maybe it was this tranquil and not as congested maybe 20 years ago. So they're enjoying it. Whereas all I've heard media is just how bad it's been, how the tourism industry here is devastated, but the locals actually have their community back. And it kind of is just a different way of looking at a situation that could be perceived as all negative, but actually maybe it does have a silver lining. And that's sort of something that we can apply to life. Maybe in difficult, tough times, we're only looking at what's right in front of us. But if you look at it from a different perspective, a different angle, try to find some kind of lesson to take from it. That could be your silver lining. I'm on the beach now enjoying these clear, crystal clear waters. Wayne, our boat tour guide, was talking about how at some parts of the lake, it's 99% pure water. It's like distilled water. How cool is that? Anyways, loving Queenstown weather, the autumn vibes. It's just perfect. What a beauty of a day. I'm one happy traveler. <laughs> forever trying to find the best lighting. <laughs> so I just thought I would come on and give an update because I had another chat. I guess this is just kind of the theme of my trip is that I'm going around asking people working here in the Queenstown area, how has it been? How has the pandemic been? How has it impacted your business? And I shared earlier a different perspective, which I learned maybe isn't the perspective that all Queenstown residents believe in, specifically people that are in the hardest hit tourism industry, like retail. I had a nice chat with a local retailer and I bought a t-shirt off them. I want to support local while I'm here in Queenstown in and amongst other businesses. She just gave me a fresh perspective and said, you know, that perspective of I love it. This is great. We got our community back. This is how it was 20 years ago. That can be a little bit selfish at times because it downplays how people have been severely impacted by all this. People have lost everything. They've lost their livelihood. They've lost their dream, their store. They've taken their own lives. I just heard a lot of varying perspectives that was really eye-opening and I just thought I had I couldn't not share with the vlog an update from earlier because they are struggling really hard. It's not all going to be a positive outlook all the time but I think it was really interesting to get a take on retail and how they're really struggling but they're still trying to make it work which I think is admirable and I really didn't know any of that stuff about how people have just felt like hopeless so they've thought the only thing that they could do was to take their own life which is awful. I didn't realize that it had gotten to that level. Times are it seems like the people of Queenstown are really resilient and I think that they'll try to make it work as best as they can and that's all that they can do.
Good morning, guys. Welcome to another beautiful day in Queenstown. I'm getting so lucky with the weather here. It's awesome. Yesterday was really nice. I can't remember what I vlogged the last bit of, but I ended up meeting a guy from Wellington, and we ended up hanging out last night, getting dinner, having drinks, had a little bit of a gin and tonic night, and it was nice. It was just a really chill, kind of quiet night in Queenstown. It's a, it was a Wednesday evening, so it wasn't like party, but it was nice to just chat with someone else and, you know, live that solo travel life where you're meeting people and connecting and it's kind of funny that he's from Wellington we're actually on the same flight back to Wellington which is like okay <laughs> how random is that so it was a really nice evening and now I'm ready for a new day of activities I've decided that I'm gonna hit the bus Yes, you can get a bus to Arrowtown. It's a nice little quaint little character historic area, not too far from Queenstown. Normally you would just spend a few hours there. Hopefully have some beautiful autumn foliage to take photos of. And there's a couple walks that you can do in the area, so I'll definitely go for a walk. I'm all ready and wearing gear for a nice walk to enjoy the weather because tomorrow, Friday, is forecasted to be a bit rainy and wet. So I'll be switching gears tomorrow, doing a lot more indoor activities. But today I'm gonna take full advantage of this beautiful weather. I'm ready for another day of adventure. So I got a bacon and egg pie from Ferg Bakery. And Ferg is quite an establishment here in Queenstown. There's Ferg Burger, Ferg Bakery, Ferg Gelato, and now there's even a Ferg Bar. So let's try this out. That is quite delicious. Like the flaky layers on the top and the nice savory inside. Would recommend. Welcome to Arrowtown. I'm really sad to report that I'm about three weeks too early to see the beautiful autumn foliage, so it's still quite green as you can tell. I mean, there's a bit of orange and red here and there, but yeah, I'm, I'm too early. Arrowtown actually has an autumn festival starting on the 22nd of April, and we're only the 1st of April today, so unfortunately I won't get that beautiful picture-perfect Arrowtown in the autumn prime season, but it's still a beautiful day, really sunny. This is gorgeous weather for an autumn day and I'm gonna do a little walk now along the river here and just enjoy myself be out in nature today the bus ride was real easy and fast and really well connected to Queenstown so it's gonna be easy ride to get back there and I'm really just in a great mood and ready to explore and enjoy this beautiful sunny autumn day let's go Holy, I did not know that I would be doing a steep hike. I just saw a sign to say go to Tobin's cabin and I knew nothing about Tobin's cabin. It's a steady grade the whole way up and I'm so sweaty. It's a beautiful day though, but my heart rate is steadily like 146 beats per minute. <laughs> This is like a true cardio workout. I am sweating buckets right now, but that view though, you can't beat a view like that. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my 
my gosh, I can't believe I did it. Who knew at the top there'd be farmland? Like look behind me, that's all farmland. But check out this view guys. I'm so proud of myself. That was a steep one. But if you're ever in Arrowtown, well actually if you're in Queenstown, you just take the number two bus to Arrowtown for $4 one way take up the track along the river and then head up to Tobin's track. I didn't see no remains of a cabin, but apparently there used to be a cabin up here. I don't know any of the history, but beautiful walk, a little bit hard, but you know, out of hard work comes a really nice reward. All right, that's enough inspiration. I'm gonna go take in this view. Okay, I finished the walk down that hill. Near the end, I was getting really tired. It was quite steep. Going downhill is really hard on the joints. Now that I'm getting up there in age, I gotta watch out for my joints. I'm so tired though. <laughs> so it's 3.30 p.m. now, and I'm gonna head back to Arrowtown in the village, get something to eat, maybe a sweet little treat, browse a couple of the shops, and then catch the bus back. But let's head to the village and see what I get up to. It's a beautiful afternoon. Honestly, I could be wearing shorts and a tank top right now. It's so hot. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 